several releases ago, we've added um, some enhanced options for sweeping. Uh, you can scale, uh, start from a certain size and scale it down or scale it up when you sweep. Uh, you can also twist it when you sweep. But uh, a lot of, uh, I've had a few requests on um, some interesting models over the years. And one of them was to do something like a phone cord. Uh, for you that are under the age of 30, this is an old phone cord from a landline. Um, so used today, you may see it in a shop on a, a remote for moving a crane over uh, your machines or whatnot. So we can do that in Solid Edge. It's a little bit of a trick to it, though. So we'll pick our sweep command, start with a single, and uh, we'll just use the default options to begin with. Now, I know a lot of you will be saying, well, this is going to fail because these are parallel to each other, and you're absolutely correct. But the nice thing about this is I always have the option of editing my options. I don't have to cancel and repick, so I'll hit edit. I'll go and select the options. I'm going to put a number of uh, turns here. And uh, let's put in, um, I don't know, let's put in five turns, for example. We'll say OK. And so you can see we're beginning to develop our phone cord, or at least a portion of the phone cord. We can go back and let's change those maybe to eight. You can also do number of turns per length. And we now have a helical revolution around a curve. So pretty powerful stuff. Uh, you can even scale it if you wish, just to show you some of the options. And you can see it gradually gets smaller. So some powerful options, a little bit of a trick to use it. But if you ever have to generate an old style phone cord or an expandable cord on a remote for some sort of machine, uh, all you have to do is draw your curve and your starting circle. And you can utilize the advanced sweeps options inside of our sweep command.